this exercise, we're going to take a look at using layers in your drawings. And the first thing that we'll do is on the Entity Properties toolbar, we can see the standard layers list. So this layer control or list control allows you to set layers current, adjust their properties, etc. Here we can see that the layer is indeed turned on. It is thawed, unlocked, printable, and has a color associated a red. Now because this is the current layer, if I simply draw a line, we'll notice that it takes on the properties of the current layer. So it, the line is drawn on the object layer and will by default receive the properties of that layer. If I change my current layer to hidden and we'll zoom to a different area of the screen and use this construction geometry to draw a new line, you can see that the line is indeed drawn with the properties associated to the hidden edges layer. You can further clarify things by turning off the construction layer. And now we can see the gray lines disappear showing the uh, newly created. Okay, the next interface we want to work with regards to layer is the layer panel. So on the command line, if you type layers panel open, it's going to display the layers panel. This panel can be docked various areas of the screen, or it can also be left in a floating uh, position above the... And while in this mode, the uh, you can still work with the drawing and the objects in the graphics window while leaving the layers panel open. Here I'm going to set the object layer to current, and I'm going to change the color red by selecting the color 7. Now, because my background is white, the geometry will appear black. If you are working on a configuration with a black background, your geometry would appear white. We can see that we also can do things such as isolate selected layers. So if I select the isolate selected layer, you'll notice that all other layers in the layers panel become locked. Now this setting can be configured in BricsCAD to either lock layers, the non-isolated layer, or to turn them off. So depending on how your version of BricsCAD is configured, you may get a different result. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is make the hatch layer current. Then we're going to right click and invert the selection. This causes all of the other layers to be selected and then I can turn all of those layers off at once. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is set the object layer current and make sure it's turned back on. And then we want to change the transparency setting for the hatch layer. We're going to select 80. And then with the hatch layer selected, we're going to choose the new layer button and notice how the new layer is created and it copies the properties of the layer that was selected. We're going to call this cut line and we're going to make it current and then we're going to assign the line type phantom. Now we're going to need to load it so choose the load button and then select phantom click OK and the phantom line Type is now loaded and let's go ahead and set its transparency back to zero. Turning on all of the other layers except for the depth points. Now we can see that all of the geometry is indeed turned back on. If we zoom into this top view, we'll go ahead and draw the cut line simply using a line command. So again, we can see the cut line is current. And as I draw this particular line segment, it's going to have the properties associated with that particular layer. Let's go ahead and make glass shelf or select glass shelf and then click the delete key. That deletes the layer. It's worth pointing out here that you can only delete a layer if there are no entities
currently using that layer or residing on that layer. This completes our lesson on working with layers in BricsCAD. Thank <laughs> you.